गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम बैक लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज वॉट कैन वी लर्न फ्रॉम हिस्टोरिकल मॉन्यूमेंट्स मॉन्यूमेंट्स गिव अज एन आइडिया अबाउट द ग्रैंड लाइफ स्टाइल ऑफ किंग्स एंड क्वींस ऑफ द पास्ट हु लिव्ड इन दैम सो चिल्ड्रन मॉन्यूमेंट्स गिव अज एन आइडिया अबाउट द लाइफ स्टाइल ऑफ किंग्स एंड क्वींस हु लिव्ड इन दैम वी एडमायर द ब्यूटी ऑफ द वर्क डन बाय क्राफ्ट पीपल एंड आर्टिशंस ऑफ द पास्ट इवन वी कैन एडमायर द ब्यूटी of the work done in the monument by the craft people and the artisans of the past monuments tells us about what people of the time wore what materials they used and the knowledge they had of architecture so children by seeing the monuments we can tell what people of the time they wore what materials they used to build that monuments and the knowledge they had about the architecture the use of stones like marbles sandstones etc makes us wonder how these stones were obtained and how they were transported over long distance so children the stones which were used in the monuments like marble then sandstones etc makes us wonder how these stones were obtained and how they were transported over a long distance when we compare them with modern buildings we can see a lot of difference so if we compare that stones that construction with the modern construction building we can see a lot of differences now we will learn about the protection of monuments the government has set up a special body called the archaeological survey of india asi so to protect this monuments the government they had set up a special body which is called archaeological survey of india in the short form we we can say asi that protects monuments and historical sites so what is the duty of the archaeological survey of india asi they protect the monuments and historical sites we as citizens can also preserve and protect our monuments by so we can also preserve and protect our monuments by not scribbling on or damaging the walls so first point how we can protect and preserve our monument first point is not scribbling on or damaging the walls second not spitting or throwing garbage inside or near the monuments and the third point is reporting any damage done to the monuments or its premises so if any damage is done in the monument or on its premises we can report it now let's see our values monuments teaches about a past and need to be preserved so monuments they teaches about the past children we have learned that what monuments teaches what they teaches we admire the beauty of the work done by the craftsmen and artisans and also monuments tells us about the what people of the time wore what materials they used and the knowledge they had of architecture Have you visited any of the world heritage sites in India? Can you describe it? So children you can answer this question by your own. Have you visited any of the world heritage sites in India? So you can describe about it. Now let's remember. A building which has historical, cultural and architectural value is called a heritage building. So children this also we have studied what is a heritage buildings. a building which has a historical cultural and architectural values is called heritage buildings india has many heritage build buildings that tells us about its history and architecture so in india we had many heritage buildings that tells us about its history and architecture 
The Taj Mahal is a magnificent monument made mostly in white marbles by Shah Jahan. So children we have learnt about the Taj Mahal. It is a magnificent mo monument and it is built with the white marbles and it was built by Shah Jahan. Monuments teach us about the life and times of people in the past. So mon what monument teaches? It teaches about the lifestyle and times of people in the past. The government has set up a special body called the Archaeological Survey of India ASI that protects monuments and historical sites. So just now we have learned that government they have set up a special body called the Archaeological Survey of India that is ASI and what is the work of that special body they looks to the monuments and also historical sites they protect monuments and historical sites so children with this we have completed the chapter number 20 see you with the new chapter in our next video till then take care